In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download additional watch faces from the Garmin Connect IQ store on your Garmin Forerunner 955 watch. So this watch is just like a lot of other Garmin watches. When you get it, you're going to have several different watch face options you can choose from. If you press and hold the middle button on the left hand side, that'll bring up your watch face menu. You can simply press the upper right button to choose watch faces and then you can basically cycle through the different ones that come on the watch. You can remove any of these delivered watch faces from Garmin and then you've got the option at the bottom to add new. Now a lot of people think, oh that means I'm going to get to choose from a bunch of different watch faces. You really don't. When you do add new, you can either choose a digital watch face or an analog watch face and you basically build it the way you want to build that watch face. You choose the layout, you choose the data fields, the background color, so on and so forth. And all of that's fine. But what if you don't want to mess with all that? What if we just want to go out there and look for a watch face that a developer has developed and download it? We can do that with the Garmin 4Runner 955 as well as some of the other watches, but we need to go to the Garmin store, which is based at their app store, which is called Connect IQ. Let's get on the cell phone. I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll come back to the watch and see how it looks on the watch. Okay, so as I mentioned, now I'm on my cell phone. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're an Apple or an Android user. It's going to be the same, but you have to have the Connect IQ app. Don't get this confused with Garmin Connect. Garmin Connect, you're going to use to sync your exercise information, your activity tracking, stuff like that. Connect IQ is the Garmin App Store. So we're going to simply go into the App Store. And at the bottom, you've got a few different options. You've got the general app store. You can do a search and you can specify, do you want to look for everything? For example, uh, applications. Do you just want to look for music apps? Do you want to look for watch faces? Do you just want to look for apps, data fields, so on and so forth. In this video though, we're looking for watch faces. When you go in, it will sort them by which ones are popular. You can go up if you know a specific one or you're looking for a certain feature, you can type and search for a watch face. Now you have to watch just like any other app store, whether you're an Apple user or a Google Wear OS user, you've got some watch faces that will be free in here and then you've got some that are labeled as payment, which means they will basically charge. So I'm just going to choose one of these. This one looks kind of cool. Star Wars Binary Sunset. It's free. So the first thing you can do is when you go into the watch face, you can kind of look at some different pictures. You can read the description about the watch face. What's it going to do? You can read reviews if people have reviewed it. You can check out the compatible devices to make sure that your device is compatible. It will list all of them. Most of the newer watches will be compatible. There's my Forerunner 955 Solar. And then last but not least, if you want to install it, you just simply click install and you wait, it will give you a confirmation that the install has been successful. And at that point, we should be able to get on our watch and see what the watch face looks like on our watch. The thing I should mention is when you download a new watch face from the Garmin Connect IQ app, it will automatically assign that watch face as the default watch face on your watch. Now we can switch that, but you'll see here in a second when we go on the watch, this should be our watch face. The other thing is the watch faces that are delivered from Garmin, you can customize on the watch. The watch faces that you download from Connect IQ, some of them are customizable, some are not, but if they are customizable, you will customize them in the app and then those changes will write over to the watch. We'll see, I'm not sure if this one's gonna be customizable or not. Okay, so it is successfully installed. It's kind of weird. Usually you will get a confirmation page. I did not get a confirmation page, but the fact that it shows uninstall means that it's on my device. You'll also notice that there's no customization options available. If there were, we would see a box that would say settings and we could go in and we could change the settings. And it looks like this one is basically just giving a view of the sunset from the original Star Wars movie. So let's go get on the watch and let's take a look at what it looks like on the watch. Okay, so now let's get back on the watch and we should see our new watch face. Wow, I'll tell you what, when I was doing this video, I thought, what, what a lame watch face I chose to, uh, to show my viewers. But this thing actually looks pretty cool on the watch. Now, there's not a whole lot of details. That's going to be the negative of it. Let me see if I can zoom in. So what did we get on this one? We got the, the temperature. Looks like the temperature from our weather. And then we got our step counter and we got the time. And that's it. You can't customize it. But if you're a Star Wars fan, I'm assuming this is a image of Luke Skywalker's uh, house. So uh, the one thing I'll mention is let's press and hold the menu button on the left hand side. Let's choose watch face. 
you'll see that there's no options. When I go to this watch face, there's nothing when I choose it. I can basically apply it and that's all. I can still switch to a different watch face. So I can leave this one there and I can go to something else. And I'll say, okay, I'm going to use this one. So maybe I'm going to go to the office and I don't want the Star Wars watch face on my watch. That's fine. I can use this one. It looks a little bit uh, more casual, I guess I should say. But the other one will still be there. So I can press and hold the menu button, choose watch face, and it's on my watch. You'll notice that there's not an option to uninstall it. So if we wanted to uninstall the watch face, we would have to do that through the Garmin Connect IQ app. Just like we went there to download it, we have to go there to uninstall it. And we can do that now. Let's get back on the uh, cell phone. Let's go into the app and I'll show you how to uninstall this watch face. Okay, so again, we're gonna need to go to our cell phone. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Connect IQ app. But this time, instead of doing a search, we're gonna look at the very bottom right. There's an option that says My Device. We can simply click on our device. You should see your device listed. In my example, the only thing I've got is the Forerunner 955. If we swipe up, you'll see in the middle of the screen, there's an option that says My Watch Faces. You will see the watch faces that you have installed as well as the, one that you've, the ones that you have previously installed. Simply click on the watch face you want to uninstall and then you're going to choose the uninstall button. Now the watch face is no longer going to be on your uh, watch. The next time it syncs to Garmin Connect IQ, it will remove it, but you will still have it listed in your history in case you decide you want to go back and get that watch face. I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.